Oh, We're live. What is a morning like without getting to see our council member Lander live at nine o'clock? <laughs> the public is demanding it. <laughs> We're so live. Good. Begin your recordings. All right. PC recording has started. Oh, the cloud started. Backup is rolling. Good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote of the Committee on Economic Development. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video and to minimize disruption, please silence your electronic devices. Thank you, we are ready to begin. All right. Good morning, everyone. I, I am Council Member Paul Vallone, Chair of EDC, and, and today we're here to vote on Intro 1839. And I just wanted to give a brief minute to explain what the bill will do for my fellow council members for this morning and when we vote on it later today. So Intro 89 will require an annual report to the mayor and us as a city council on the progress of the Brooklyn Navy Yard master plan, something that has uh, eluded us and not been done in years past. Throughout my tenure as chair of the Economic Development Committee, we have discussed the rich 220 year history of the Navy Yard as it has evolved from its early years as a naval shipyarding, uh, shipbuilding yard into one of the city's most well-run engines for economic development. Even before the pandemic, the committee had an opportunity to tour the Navy Yard along with our colleagues at EDC, and it was a true pleasure to see the various businesses and education centers available at this wonderful yard. From we worked at Dock 72 to the Steam Center in the Navy Yard, it is a gem for opportunity and talent in the industrial technology and manufacturing industries, especially for grocers such as Wegmans and Russ and Daughters. The Navy Yard provides stable, affordable space for industrial businesses and is now home to over 450 businesses, employing more than 11,000 people and generating over 2.5 billion per year in the economic activity for the city. All remarkable achievements, especially after the financial crisis we are in during this pandemic. Nearly all of the New York Navy Yard space has been leased over the last decade. And so the Navy Yard Development Corporation announced its master plan in 2018 to expand the physical space as the yard in order to meet the ongoing demand for the new tenants to utilize the innovative space and continue to offer opportunities in manufacturing, technology, and industry. But what good is all of this master plan without an annual report to the city of New York, whose board of directors serve at the pleasure of the mayor and without accountability to the city council who has oversight? So this bill brings much needed accountability to one of the city's most vital economic assets. Any significant investment made by the city should come with equal significant oversight and transparency to ensure that we are responsible using taxpayer funds. We applaud the Navy Yard businesses for their hard work throughout the pandemic. And I'd like to thank Jeff Baker, Emily Forgione, Alex Polinoff, Josh Kingsley, my chief of staff, Jonathan Shutt, and our speaker for their efforts in bringing this bill to a vote today. I urge all of my colleagues to vote aye. Thank you very much. Ready for the roll call, uh, Mr. Chair? Yes, please. Okay. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Economic Development, proposed introduction 1839A, Chair Vallone. I vote aye, and thank you. Ku. I vote aye. Lander. Uh, the Brooklyn Navy Yard is exactly the model we need for a just and durable recovery. I vote aye. Baron. I vote aye. Carnegie. In the true spirit of recovery and resiliency, I vote aye. Jonai. I vote aye. Powers. I vote aye. Lewis. I vote aye. By vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, proposed introduction 1839A has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Are we actually missing anyone, or can we close out the vote? I think did we get nope. the full vote. That was a full committee. Wow! Look at that. Our morning crew is prou proud today. <laughs> so then, I guess we're done. We can close it out. Thank you so much, Steph. Thank you, Mr.